day You know where you find me You know what you're drinking You drink the last house, sure When you had a good day You know where to find her You know what you're drinking You drink it with Tasha When you had a bad day You know where to find her You know what you're drinking you're drinking with Tasha. We had a good day. You know where to find her. You know what you're drinking. You're drinking with Tasha. All right. We're drinking with Tasha. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to Drinking with Tasha. Fall season is upon us. Last time I did two drinks. This one right here. Whew. I am a big fan of gin and tonics. I wanted to give it a, you know, a different vibe to it. So I made a ginger. I made a ginger plum gin and tonic. This right here is the ginger plum syrup. It is one cup of water, a half a cup of sugar. Uh, you see me cutting up the plums, putting, making sure all that juice get in the pot. I basically diced up the plums, put them in the pot with the sugar and the water. For, you're going to grate some fresh ginger. Yes. Oh my goodness. Woo. Orange zest, thyme leaves. Boil that for 25 minutes. This ginger plum syrup. I have made two batches already before <laughs> since I did this video. That's how addicted to it I am. So good. Just a little bit of orange zest. probably should have used a bigger pot make more <laughs> like I said I wind up going back and making another batch Killing that ginger was a chore, but it was worth it. I kind of used the muddle to muddle down some of the plums really get that juice out of them give everything a good mix let that blend I let that boil for about 25 minutes Smells so good. Strength that into my um, mason jar. And I set that in the freezer for about 30 minutes to get it cool.
Now for the cocktail. Tonic water, gin. I was gonna use the thyme leaves as a garnishment, but I didn't. You'll see why. And of course, the ginger. Just showing you everything. Four ounces of tonic water. And I think I did eight of the gin. Hey, let's drink it with Tasha. We gonna drink, but we gonna drink responsibly. four ounces of the ginger plum syrup. Get it a good shake. There you see my gin goblet, which is also known as a Koopa Doo Balloon. It's basically, the shape is similar to a wine glass. It's just water to enhance the aromas. And the ice stays cooler longer. Yes, the ice you see right there is distilled water with the thyme leaves in there. froze the thyme leaves in the ice cube. That way, when the ice does melt, woo, you get that flavor too. I'm all about experiment with flavors. So I just had the fresh plum as a garnishment. Yes. So good. A ginger plum, ginger and tonic. Y'all think that's for me? Oh man, let me hurry up and make this last drink. I've been too toxic, so they coming for me. Alright, alright. But I'm taking this last drink with me. Y'all know where to find me. Drink it with Tasha. They got me. They caught up with me, y'all. They caught up with me.